So what happened next? Next verse. In the same quarters were possessions of the chief man of the island, whose name was Publius, who received us and lost us three days cautiously. And it came to pass that the father of Publius lay sick of a fever of a bloody flux, to whom Paul added in, I want you to notice something, to whom Paul added in, Paul added him to, added into him and prayed and laid his hands on him and healed him. Did you notice he didn't pray for him? I, I, I'm not sure you noticed. He laid hands on him and be praying. No. Paul added and prayed. Whatever he said, we don't know. But he prayed. And then came to him. Watch what it says. Laid hands on him and healed him. Some people tell us, they say we must be very humble and never say that we heal. We should say, oh, to God be the glory. God heal. I didn't heal nobody. Uh oh. But Jesus told us, heal the sick. Jesus said so. He told us, he says, heal the sick, cast out devils, raise the dead. He told us to do it. So the Bible says, he did it. Maybe I should show you a little more. Okay. Acts chapter 14. We're reading from verse number 7. And there they preached the gospel. They preached the gospel. They preached the gospel. All right, watch now. And there sat a certain man at Lystra, important in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet. And the men what? Leaped and walked. Okay, look at the next. And when the people saw what Paul had done, it didn't say what God had done. When the people saw what Paul had done, the Spirit says Paul did it. It doesn't say when the people said Paul did it. No, when the people saw what Paul had done, the writer Luke, by the Spirit, writes this and says, When the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in the speech of Laconia, The gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. Oh, you know, I don't want to take so much time for that, but it, it makes me remember so many meetings. I can't even tell, I can't even talk about the ones in the, in the healing school, because you, you see all those ones, you see them in the programs. But think about those crusades in the, uh, in the backside of civilization, you know, where most of those people they didn't know anything but what you had to bring to them. They didn't read anything about miracles. Juju worshippers. Most of what they knew was their, uh, their town god. And then we went preaching in those places. Commanding the sick to be healed. And like the Bible says, in Samaria, there was great joy in that city. Great joy. Great joy. So I read this and I, I, I remember so many things. Lovely, amazing things. Now when you preach the gospel to, to, to those in darkness, oh, you see a lot. Preach the gospel. Preach it. Preach it where? The sinners are, where there's darkness, where there's pain. You see the extraordinary. You see the ministry of the Spirit of God in your life. 
like you never thought possible. You'd be amazed. Because you see, we're heralds of the kingdom of God. 